In my journey to losing over 20 kilograms for my bodybuilding shows, the gym became more than a place to work out. It transformed my life in ways I could never imagine. I embraced the gym's core values, using them to compass to navigate each day. It taught me discipline, accountability, and consistency, not just in my workouts, but in every aspect of my life. Gym provided me with a sanctuary, a place to escape my worries and stress. It became my mental and physical refuge, helping me become the best version of myself. Through hard work and dedication, the gym empowered me to overcome obstacles, both mentally and physically. It's not just about losing weight, it's about gaining strength, gaining confidence, and a new lease on life. The gym isn't just a place to get fit, it's a place to transform your life. Embrace its principles, stay consistent, and watch how it can conquer your own challenges. Your journey begins here. Good morning, good afternoon, whoever is watching. Uh, I am stoked to finally be able to do this video. I'm going to do what I eat in a day and touch on how I lost 20 kilos from bulk to stage ready. I've put this off a while um, just with uh, putting out my own videos and working out, but it's a rest day today. We're nearly on show day, we're like three days out. And I, no, sorry, let me get that right. I am Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm four days out. And it's really now going to be smooth sailing, fingers crossed, touch wood. I'm gonna show you what I eat today. And um, typically what I'm eating now is what I've been eating during my prep. Um, nothing is changing too much. So I look forward to how you're going to react to this. Unfortunately with my omelette, I have tomatoes, but I ran out last night. So what we're going to do is build a bridge and move on. But first step is cracking the eggs. Perfect. Making the same meal every morning, you do get a grasp of what calories are what. And honestly, it saves you a lot of headache if you map it out, if you weigh it all out on one day, figure out, get a grasp of what everything is, and then save yourself the worry of weighing. I find it's just so much more enjoyable um, eating food when you don't have to calculate it every day. So, Keeping all my meals the same, not much is gonna vary. Five calories, one gram of protein. Like it's, honestly, if you're gonna lose sleep over that, it's, you're, you're taking it a little too far and you're becoming a bit more of a, a, uh, a robot. All in all, that's meal one. I'm gonna go cook this now. It's gonna be in the pan, sear and sweat the mushrooms and then cook off my onion, make the omelet. I'm gonna let the video do the talking now and I'll see you when that's ready. And that's it. Omelet is cooked both sides and in the middle. We're gonna decorate them clean and perfect. Perfect. A cucumber on top. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then I have an avocado here, about 30 grams of avocado. That concludes meal one, is a breakfast omelet. And there it is, voila. Cheers. Breakfast is up. I have my omelette and my shake. I'm gonna watch a YouTube video and then move into the next. Uh, see you for lunch. Breakfast is done and now it's a uh, lunch time before I head to work. And um, it's gonna be pretty simple. I'm only just gonna whip up a lettuce, uh, cucumber, onion, uh, sweet chili sauce with chicken. 
Uh, I'm just going to mix that up. It's on the go. I'm finished at three o'clock, so I won't need a massive meal. I just need stuff to keep me full and energized. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I, I like to maintain the same amount of protein just so my digestion levels are, are on par. So I'm going to go take some out. Two. 210 worth of chicken breast. While that warms up, um, I got rid of the bowl, but everything's going to be pretty much prepped. I've got my shredded lettuce, um, a bit more in there, um, the rest of my avocado, and a cucumber. Um, all in total, that's probably 30 grams there of avocado, 45 grams, and then a bit more of this. It's going to be a quick snack. Again, it's just to keep me not hungry. Perfect, and this meal is just a, look, it doesn't look appetizing at all, but it's, it's going to keep me, trust me, sane and probably save someone's life. I've eaten so much salad in this prep, I would hate to know how much. I'd hate to know how much chicken, eggs and lettuce I've eaten in this prep, it'd be ridiculous. Anyway, I'm off to work now. I'm going to finish this and I'll see you after work for what I eat next. I had a bowl from work, a chicken salad bowl, which is here. And um, it, was, it, was, it, it was enough. Uh, it was just a quick, quick fix just to, to settle my hunger. And um, now that I'm home, I've bought myself and prepared a protein bar. This is the salted caramel masashi bar, 1.3 grams of carbs. Yeah, it, it's a delicacy. This is this is my cheat meal that I have very frequently, um, and it's not even a cheat meal. The 45 grams of protein is just unbeatable. 1.3 grams of carbs is perfect, and the fats are just they're reasonable. <sighs> Cardio is complete. I am now officially done. <sighs> I am starving. Oh, you guessed it, chicken. And guess what else? Lettuce. Lettuce, tomato, chicken. I'm gonna put an egg on top. That's gonna change the game. But I'm gonna whip this up. Do not hold your tails. This is not gonna be exciting, but I'll try and make it as woohoo as possible because uh, trust me, it is not shit hot. It does excite me though that I get to use my organized Tupperware. So that's always a plus and I get my nice sweet chili sauce. So I'm really, I'm practically winning at life, but I'm gonna whip this up. We have chicken, we've got our tomato and onion, we have lettuce, we have mushrooms, asparagus, zucchini in there. We have eggs and I've got cucumber, um, sweet potato, but I will not be touching them. Let's whip it up. So unlike my personality at the moment, I like my chicken not boring. So I am gonna be putting a lot of spices in just to give me some flavor. Uh, Italian herb, Portuguese chicken, and I've run out of all purpose seasoning, so I'm gonna put some lemon pepper. Honestly, anything to get rid of that bland chicken flavor I'm okay with. The idea is I'm going to be putting about 230 grams of chicken on there and season that, char, the, uh, char my asparagus and uh, mix it in. I'm going to use my Bailey ball, absolutely loaded with shit and trick my mind to thinking it's eating a lot. While that is going to cool down, yes, the chicken is already cooked. I've pre-made it. I've chucked some asparagus in there. We're gonna whip it up with some salad. Whew, alrighty. We've got our lettuce. We've got our bowl. Together we have, fuck up. Good. 216 grams of iceberg lettuce. We're gonna put some onion and cucumber. 40 grams. 50 grams. 
So I have my eggs, my chicken and my asparagus going into the bowl, top it all off. I'm going to put my sweet chili sauce on there as well. And just a little, perfect. There we go. So there you have it. That's pretty much it for dinner. Um, I do have a protein shake that I'm gonna have while I edit and work tonight. Um, I'll whip that up after dinner and I'll show you this, that obviously, but uh, for dinner that concludes it. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. Obviously chicken, chicken, chicken all day. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna do what I do best and eat this shit and it's nice and full for me. So let's put on a YouTube video. Let's wind down, eat this and I'll see you for the protein shake. Finish the night before I do my dishes after dinner. I'm going to make my protein shake to finish the night off. It's not very exciting, is it? Um, but it's what I'm doing to get ready. The easiest part is eating it. The hardest part is continuing to eat it. Let's make this protein. I'll show you it is just topped up with water, 500 ml. Spank some ice in it, protein, done. Oh, that concludes what I eat, drink, consume during the day to achieve my physique personally now for my bodybuilding shows. Um, it is dog shit. Um, I don't recommend it to anyone unless you are being guided and have the right controls and understand macros, proteins, and what you're gonna get yourself into. Um, I'm going to slowly sip on that and enjoy it as much as I can. Um, I think the total calories will be right here. Protein's gonna be 200 plus. Um, carbohydrates, I'm imagining it's between 20 and 29, um, and fats between 45 and 62. Um, that is how the day goes. So that, that, that concludes it. Um, thank you for tuning in to what I eat. Um, it isn't fun. I'm so excited to be able to uh, have a meal after the bodybuilding show and then take you through how I'm really going to be eating to a increase muscle, a increase my size, and maybe I might introduce something that I want to do before I do a nut, before I do a next bodybuilding show. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed me eating lettuce and chicken for the day. Um, and until next time, I'll see you at the gym.